All right. It's a new age tactical back with another knife review. We're sticking to the theme of cheap ur knives or cheaper pocket carry knives. Um, these ones are brought to you by Craftsman. They are the same one we bought. We usually buy two of each just to, in case we destroy one too quickly. Um, looks pretty good. Spring assisted pocket knife online. It really doesn't look good at all. Spring assisted pocket knife, uh, serrated and straight edges, durable stainless steel blade, bi material comfort grip. So, um, it doesn't even have a name. No. <laughs> so let's open this up and see what we're getting ourselves into here. Wow, that's one thing that every knife package sucked with was getting it open. That was nice <laughs> and easy. They don't mind if you steal this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you're right there. Oh, uh, <laughs> is this a joke? Oh, oh, you gotta hold the lock down and then press the button. That uh. sucks. And then it has the lock in the middle. But that lock doesn't stay lock locked or unlocked. You have to, it's spring, so you have to push it down every time just in order to unlock that. And to be honest, it's hurting my hands. Like, it's digging into my finger when I, like, try to open it. Comfort-wise, what are you thinking? No, it's too bulky. It's like, actually, the pocket clip kind of, like, gets in the way of your hand. So it, like, hurts to, like, grab that part. It's not really well balanced. It's not. I don't know. Even the cheap, the cheap Kershaw like felt good in your hand. This one just doesn't. I mean, in the the handle to blade ratio is like it looks dinky, right? Real rough opener, real rough closer. Like you gotta really like snap it closed. You feel the you feel the, yeah. the pocket clip. The pocket clip's in like the worst possible place because it's like dead in the middle. Like instead of being up here, it's it's like right across. And it's a bulky pocket clip. Like look at how much. Oh, wait a second. Look at how that would sit in your pocket. Upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, that's on purpose? That has like. I mean, it springs back, but I feel like I can just snap that right off. Definitely a little bit of play. Not a ton. Uh, when it's closed, no, nah, it's pretty solid. I mean, that blade is not going anywhere. It's like in there because of that lock, though. Hold the lock down. I mean, it's still, it's pretty robust in the way of not wanting to move. I think there's play in the blade because it's, look at the, the gap between the blade and the handle. I mean, the good things are Craftsman, lifetime warranty. Um, it's meant to be a toolbox blade. But again, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for cheap pocket knives that we want to check out. So here it is. Uh, I guess let's get to some tests, huh? Hey, Jerry. What are we drinking? Kettle one. I'm drinking like an ESIPA. I got the girly drink. I know everyone's <laughs> gonna beat me up, but I'm drinking kettle one, splash of cranberry, splash of club soda. This little patch is left over from the thistle. I'm gonna go right above it. <laughs> Nothing there. Okay. I got one. I think that was just from pulling. Yeah. Your whole, your whole arm is moving. I mean, it's it's cutting, but like really bad. I shouldn't say really bad, but it's pretty rough. 
super real a lot of resistance and you can see it just tore this is standard poster board a little thicker than paper but kind of like bevels the edge i mean it cuts it but it does the job but it's not nice and clean like you want it to be I'm just trying a bunch of different ways holding it just so we don't get the comments out there you didn't hold it right so foam board they're gonna post the board It's doing the job, but with a ton of resistance. Like, I had to push with all my might just to cut through the foam. So, standard piece of cardboard. It's an Amazon box. Sponsor. <clears throat> Please. Like, I'm just trying to pierce cardboard and then drag it out. That's actually the only impressive part so far. Let's do it this way though, where it gets into the... Yes, I know my fingers are in there. I'm being careful. So this is actually the bottom part of the jeans, so the harder part. So we'll go against the green, because that denim, but it's a little bit sh more pressure than I'd like to use, but hey, it did the job. Nice little thin rope. Uh, let's try it one more time just because I hesitated a little. No, it needs two swipes to get through thin. Really? Yeah. Should have said it before, but this is just a small pallet, not weighted down by anything. Okay? And then I have my hand on the other side holding it. Nylon, it seems to be the easiest to cut. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no. Okay. That was a fair <sighs> amount of pressure. So you really got to use the ball. Oh, man. Look, you can see where I'm holding it. <laughs> I mean, let me try one more time just to make sure. Eventually, but that's way defeated our purpose here. I was impressed, but then I realized how hard you were pushing. Like, I'm, like, really... It's doing it not great, but okay. But the problem is that you don't realize is how, bang, how it's banging my hand up. Like, my hand is killing me. This one's from the thistle. I'm just using the other side. <clears throat> Um, that wasn't too bad, actually. That was okay. A quarter of an inch. That was where the thistle was. Now 
not much. It's not too bad. But I've seen it done with a spoon before, so. Okay. Choppy, but I mean, I felt a lot better about that one though. Yeah, not bad at all. In conclusion, not a horrible knife. I can tell you one thing there is a ton of blade play. Like, I almost feel like this blade's gonna fall out. Even when closed, there's more movement. When you open it, you feel like I don't know if you can hear it. But that's just the knife moving around. Sharpness is just really not there anymore. Little beveled. Look, we didn't go crazy hard on it. We beat this knife up enough. I mean, it survived barely. I kind of feel like if we went on like one more batoning, I think I would have broke. I think it's hideous. I think it feels like just not good in the hand. I mean, you could even see like, the blade just is now twisting. And for its intended use, I don't think it would make it very long. No, I think it's kind of a fail. I think it's a fail, and honestly, I would more comfortably pay $10 for this. Yeah, I rather mean. Rather than $17. Shout out to Craftsman, we could probably send this back to them, they'll send us a brand new one. Exa and I think that's what they rely on. But, yeah, I mean, I think it could have been a, built a better knife. My hand is killing me after these tests, and we've only been doing it for a little bit. I'm sweating from trying to cut shit. I mean, it, it's, it's, it is what it is. I mean, next one, you know, like I said, we're going to try and keep them under 20 bucks the first couple. Do us a favor, guys. Like, subscribe, put in the comments anything you'd like to see or any way we can improve. Um, we've just kind of thought these things up on our own. So if there's something that you see that would be a good torture, let us know. Or torture test, I should say. Let us know. But like, subscribe. We're going to try and post a video every as often as we can. New Age Tactical out.